Hey everyone, welcome back on a new lecture with ISO IEC 17025-2017 edition. And the last clause in process requirements, control of data and information management. This clause has been rewritten and adapted to handle electronic information or data as well as hardware data. And if the lab has LIMS lab information management system, this is considered as software and this software shall be protected and validated as mentioned before in clause 6.4 equipments. First point, the lab shall have access to the data and the information needed to perform lab activities. So, every personnel inside the lab, inside every unit, shall have all data and information related to his lab activity to be able to perform his lab activity. Sometimes you will find the technical lead of the unit keep some documents for him for himself and didn't show these documents to other lab analysts. But this is wrong. You shall keep all documents, all data and information related to the lab activity available for every analyst inside your unit. And LIMS, Lab Information Management System, an electronic system and through this system you can do all processes related to your lab activity. You can receive the samples, you can submit the results and up to final report and also you can keep all of your forms and documents inside, inside this system. So this is very important system. This is electronic system instead of hardware data. So this software shall be protected and validated and that will be by the provider. LIMS used for collection, processing, recording, reporting, storage and retrieval of data shall be validated. So now LIMS added to this edition but still not mandatory to be used. You can still using the paperwork as before but it will be much better for the lab or improvement for the lab to use LIMS. And if there are any modifications to the commercial of software, commercial of software which is ready-made software such as software for the instruments or such as LIMS also, this ready-made software shall be validated before implementation by the provider. And if there are any modification from the provider to these softwares shall be authorized, documented, validated before implementation also. So as mentioned in note 1, paper system is still recognized in this edition as I mentioned before and as in note 2, off the shelf software, commercial off software, ready made software shall be validated by the provider and there is no need to be revalidated by the lab but if there is any modification done to these softwares shall be revalidated by the provider. Again, LIMS. LIMS shall be protected from unauthorized access. First point, access inside LIMS. Only authorized persons can access to their specific data or specific information. So not every person inside the lab can access to every data inside LIMS. So access very important inside LIMS. Safeguard against loss. And that can be using backup. You should make, you should have backup for all data and information inside LIMS because it can be lost. Operated in an environment complies with the provider or lab specification. Be maintained to ensure the integrity of data. If you protect access to data and if you safeguard against laws, that will ensure the integrity of data. Include recording system failures and appropriate immediate and corrective action. You should have appropriate corrective action in case of any failure inside LIMS. And when LIMS managed and maintained off-site or through an external provider, this external provider shall be complied with the requirements of this document. So shall apply all requirements of this document such as the software shall be protected, validated, controlled with access to the specified personnel according to their tasks, can be backed up to safeguard data from loss. So 
Shall we completely manage it to keep the integrity, to ensure the integrity of data and to ensure that all data for the customers are confidential to the lab, between the lab and the customer? And lab shall ensure that instructions, manuals, reference data relevant to links available to all personnel and that explained before. Calculations and data transfer shall be checked in an appropriate and systematic manner. All calculations shall be revised before submitting result and also finally revised by the technical lead of the unit to keep or to ensure the integrity of data. And as mentioned before in 7.8, reports shall be reviewed prior to release. That was the end of our lecture for today. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.